of what a full-time assistant would take off of you. They take 50%, okay? That's a lot right there. And you're only paying them per transaction. Some people say, well, I can't afford an assistant. No, you can't afford not to have an assistant. A great assistant, let me repeat, will double your business overnight. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel once again and thank you so much for your support on this video and all the thousands of videos from the past and all the thousands of videos of the future. So in a recent video, I named that video, a great assistant will double your income overnight. And I had a several comments about, hey, this didn't talk anything about how to hire an assistant or you know, very little was actually talked about an assistant, so it was kind of deceiving and you know my thoughts are that it wasn't meant to be deceiving and it wasn't meant to teach you how to hire an assistant or the title would have been how to hire a great assistant it was literally just a quote out of the video that I pulled out that I thought was a great quote and, and a very good point was made actually and I think a lot of you missed the point or not a lot of you some of you definitely missed the point point. and I'll link it below so you can watch it for the first time if you missed it or watch it again just so you can remember this, but basically if you watch the whole thing there and really catch the philosophy behind what I was saying, it makes a whole lot of sense here, okay? A great assistant will double your business overnight. So I wanna talk more about the specifics of transitioning from a single agent to a full-time assistant in today's video. And as always, before I get started, I wanna give away some free signed copies of my book, List the Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. Just like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell and I'm going to be picking five to ten winners over the next 24 hours and if you don't win my book hey look it's on Amazon okay guys go buy it it is worth every penny it's everything I learned through the market crash losing everything sleeping in my car going bankrupt roofing houses working on an oil rig reading 100 books coming back to become the number one Remax agent in the state of Alabama so it's well worth the ten dollars I believe that it is on on Amazon. So let's break this down, okay? Because this there's a very easy process here, I think, in today's environment of the industry. And the this exact environment was not available to me. Maybe it was, I didn't know about it, but it was not available from what I could tell back when I was trying to build my business and bring an assistant into my business. I get this question a lot about how to hire an assistant, what's the process, how do you do it? And uh, I even have agents here in my local market call me and say, hey do you have a second I need to talk to you I'm to the point in my business where I'm too busy I can't handle everything I need an assistant how do you do it so before I share with you what I think is the easiest process to transition here into a full-time assistant I'll just tell you my quick little story the reason why I needed an assistant the one task that really put pressure on my shoulders that I need an assistant was the fact that I was a single agent no assistant had 30 active listings I was getting so many calls from agents that wanted to to show my properties that I, it was really a full-time job I was really handling just showing requests for my listings and it was taking up all my time I was unable to build my business any further I was unable to make my calls I was unable to follow up I was unable to do things that I need to do to continue building my business and pouring gasoline on my business and that my friends is the gasoline it's continuing to make the calls even when you've got a lot of momentum keep putting the pressure on don't let off the gas guys you got a long way to I don't regardless of where you are in your career even when you hit the million dollar a year mark you got to even pour more gasoline on that fire to keep that thing going but when I got to the point where I had 30 active listings I was you know setting up so many showing requests with other agents to see those listings as well as the normal processings of my paperwork so on and so forth so I said Bing it's time to hire an assistant now so I went through I I don't really don't remember it was me maybe three or four assistants before I landed on my current assistant. She started in 2014, which just by coincidence, I guess was the first year I hit 100 deals as a single agent. So realize this guys, the moment I found that great assistant was the year I hit 100 deals as a single agent with one assistant. We've hit 100 deals every year since. This will be year number eight. And there's no way, no way that I could do this without her. Christy Strickland, I'll just say her name. Christy Strickland, she is 
is uh, here in Gulf Shores, works at my office right there on Cove Avenue. She's there every day. She's the most dependable. She is, she handles my business, guys. This is what you need. This is what you need in your business is someone that can handle everything on the back end to allow you to do what you do best, which is get out there and help people buy and sell properties. I'm not an assistant. I don't want to do the paperwork. I don't want to process. I don't want to deal with all the things. I don't even know what she does anymore, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I don't want to do all those things. I want to do what I do best, which is talk to people, see what I can do to help people, and then help them. So in today's market, the process is really simple because there's this little thing called a TC, a transaction coordinator. This wasn't around whenever I started trying to hire an assistant. Um, not that I know of. Maybe there was at a small scale. Maybe it was just kind of becoming a thing, but it wasn't mainstream enough to even know about it. I don't believe at that point. Uh, if it was, nobody told me about it. But the TC situation in today's market where there's so many TCs out there, there's so many TCs out there that can help actually handle the transaction part of these deals for you. Now, a TC doesn't do everything a full-time assistant does, but this is a nice transition point for you. This is a nice little transition period with your TC where you can take a lot of that load off of you for a moment because as a single agent, you're just doing everything. So let's say you know they take 50% of what a full-time assistant would take off of you. They take 50%. Okay, that's a lot right there. And you're only paying them per transaction. Some people say, well, I can't afford an assistant. No, you can't afford not to have an assistant. A great assistant, let me repeat, will double your business overnight. I'm talking overnight because if you're spending half your time doing you know, assistant work, right? And then you're spending half your time on your business, building your business. What if you spent 100% more time, which is that other 50% that your full-time assistant takes off your shoulders? You're literally doubling, okay? You're doubling your actions on a daily basis in a percentage-wise basis to build your business, <laughs> okay? So naturally, since you're doing twice as much to, to build your business, your income is going to more than double. And this has been true across the board. Now, on the flip side, a bad assistant will actually run your business into the ground, okay? So that's something you gotta be really careful about too. You have to pick the right assistant. And this is where I wanna help you right here. This is where this transition period can really help you find that great, perfect assistant because you have time. A lot of people try to just hire a full-time assistant without hiring a TC. And, and then if, if it ends up not being a good situation, you have to fire it. Now you're just back down to zero again. You're doing all the stuff on a daily basis until you find someone else to try to, you know, to try to fill that position. And then you have to train them and go through all that. If you have a TC, if you work a TC, then, you know, and that TC situation is working well, they're handling transactions, taking 50% of what a full-time assistant would take off of you, then you're in a really good spot because as you, you know, you can run that course for a little while until you feel like, okay, I'm ready to take all this other stuff off of me as well. Then you start looking for a full-time assistant. So you find a full-time assistant, you bring them on, you still have the TC, okay? Then you're basically trying this full-time assistant out to see if it's gonna work. If it doesn't work, then, you know, you, you fire that, you know, assistant who was just, you know, basically on a trial period, you still got the TC still running all your deals and nothing really changed there. So you still have all that off of your plate during this transition period. Maybe the first assistant you find is the perfect one. Boom. You want to still let a month or two go by to make sure before you let that TC go. Okay. So you see how the transition works. You can get a TC, right? Then you try out different assistants. Once you find the right one, let a couple months go by, make sure, and then you can let your TC go. Now your full-time assistant's doing everything. They're doing your TC work and all your other administrative activities. So I hope that tip right there helps you kind of visualize how you can go from a total single agent to having a TC to trying out several full-time assistants. Now, you know, when you bring the full-time assistant in, the TC's already doing the transaction work, okay? So the full-time assistant, as they're in the trial period, they're doing the other half of all the administrative things. And then you can kind of start blending them in to where they're kind of working together, you know, where your full-time assistant, who's soon to be your full-time assistant, kind of gets the hang of what the TC's doing, and then everything kind of falls into place. Now, where to find a full-time assistant, okay? Because TCs are dime a dozen, right? They're everywhere. You can find those anywhere. Um, and you may have to try out a couple of TCs before you find one you really want to work with, you know? But as far as a full-time assistant, don't really have a whole lot of advice for you. I tried, like, you know, I did Craigslist ads. I took applications. I had interviews. I did that, that whole nine yards. But the one that really ended up being 
the one for me was once someone who had experience in the market. They were already an assistant with another agent locally and um, you know already had that experience, already knew MLS, already knew a lot of the agents, already understood the process of a transaction and so on and so forth. Those are going to be your best bet. So ask around your real estate agent community, you know, who has experience, who's looking for a job, what, you know, what's going on and uh, try to get some names and some referrals. That's always the best, you know, if you can find someone with some real estate assistant experience, you know, first, you know, but then kind of work your way down. You can absolutely train someone who has zero experience and work them into a role. Absolutely. hundred percent. And, um, you know, you just got to do the best you could do, but with the, tr the TC transition strategy that I'm talking about, it makes it real easy where, you know, if one doesn't work out, it's okay. You still got somebody handling transactions. You can just move on to another and try another and another and another till you hit the perfect one. All right. I hope this video really helps you. Um, I'm sorry if you thought that the last video about assistance was deceptive in any way. Totally not my intentions whatsoever. I hope this really cleared up. Put any questions below in the, uh, in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions about assistance or anything whatsoever, and also Instagram, you can still hit me up there. DM me at any time at Ricky Carruth. Click subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, do all those things, and let me know what in the world I could do for you. We'll talk to you guys soon. Let's go. Thank you.